This is the width. To recreate the space, I got the help of anchor Mark Wright. News anchor loses left hand. Story at 11. <laughs> A toilet? The bathroom he's constructing is making headlines because of complaints. Now let's add the commode. The 737 MAX bathrooms are built to American Airlines specifications. <gasps> built here in Washington. We got the dimensions from journalists who've taken rulers on board. This is tight. 24 and a half inches wide. Where's the sink? Customers and flight attendants have complained the sinks are so tiny they can only wash one hand at a time. The bathrooms are designed with a notch, so the last seat is right up against the wall of the bathroom. So what does American Airlines get out of having smaller bathrooms? 12 more seats. Our mocked up version. That's pretty tight. Was, well. This is the whole restroom? Yeah. Mock. This is a, and, you know, I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> Here's our sink. Are you going to put a sink in there? Nice. Yeah. Kim, you travel a lot yeah. in your junkets. Give me your professional opinion of the size of this restroom. <laughs> it's cozy. <laughs> Sit and wash your hands at the same time. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. Ryan Takeo. You could call this the mystery in Mount Lake Terrace. It's been kind of a roller coaster. This tale started as a joke. Put some flamingos in the yard and put them in a cage. Then a few weeks back, someone took one of the front yard flamingos and left Sarah Kelsey a note. Had to get out of this cage for a while on vacation. Be back in a couple weeks. I'll send pictures. Sarah, her boyfriend Tom, her daughter Callista, and son Corbin just about moved on with replacements last week. Maybe it won't come back. And so we bought two more. And then the next day... The old flamingo showed up with a new name and plenty of adventures. He just appeared in his pen again with some beads and a nice flamingo lanyard and also a Facebook page. That's right. Mingo the flamingo covered a lot of ground and it was all chronicled online. Uh, he went to Bryce Cannon. He went in a backpack. Wagon ride. Spring training in Arizona. It made it to a ball game though. Yeah, that is the Hoover Dam. And Vegas. Yep, he went to Vegas. He even went to the Flamingo Casino, which I thought was ironic because he's a flamingo. He went to Vegas, which I've never even been to myself. <laughs> so. And now he's back. Oh yeah, happy. He had lots of fun. But his trip mate, is still unknown. I have no idea who took the flamingo. It is completely a mystery. That makes it kind of fun actually knowing that some random person just thought he looked like he needed a vacation and took him on one. In Mount Lake Terrace, I'm Ryan Takeo. I'm just happy Mingo's back. On Monday, the city council will decide whether or not it changes rules for TNCs like Uber and Lyft. Right now, the base rate is $1.35 per mile in the city. The proposal is that it moves to $2.40. That would be pretty close to the $2.70 that taxis charge. The city says it wants to bring wages up for the area's 15,000 Uber drivers. But what could this mean for the area's 800,000 Uber passengers? For example, the trip from West Seattle over to Green Lake is 11 miles. That's $11.55 of a difference. And over from Northgate to downtown, that's an eight mile trip, $8.40. Proponents like City Council Member Bruce Harrell say Uber doesn't have to pass along the cost to customers. Harrell says that these changes would help the working conditions for drivers. And the companies can absorb that. Uh, what we're trying to do again is just make sure that there's a minimum amount so that drivers are compensated fairly and equally. Uber says it would have to pass along the cost to customers or else it would lose millions of dollars a week. And it says in the long run, it would hurt drivers. Doubling the per mile rideshare rate will significantly decrease demand from rideshare driver, riders. Council member Harrell says the $2.40 per mile is pretty similar to rates back in 2014 when UberX was pretty new to town. In Seattle, I'm Ryan Takeo, King 5 News.